This right here is my bamboo farm. It doesn't really fit in the area, so I want to improve it. Everyone already started building cool houses and this is what my base looks like. I have to change some things. Which means first I gotta gather some resources. If you've seen my last video about the slime farm, then you know I have a lot of stone here. And now it's time to use that. But well, what am I gonna make here? Well, you're gonna have to find out. But for sure is, we also don't only need stone, but we are also gonna need some grass. So let's fly somewhere and get some. I've got a unbreakable breaking free efficiency 5 mending silk touch netherite shovel here so it is time to mine some blocks hello sheep goodbye sheep 360 jump easy trick shot fortnite something that i also really want is this core dirt right here so i'm gonna mine this too You might think that's enough, but hell nah, I've got shulker boxes to fill. I'm also gonna take some of this really cool terracotta, because this looks really, really good with this shader. And it's probably also really useful with my build, because it's gonna add a little bit more detail. Look at this wonderful sunrise, wow. Well, it seems to have been a sunset, not a sunrise, because now it's getting dark. Don't worry if you can't see anything right here. I can't either. This should be enough terracotta. I actually didn't even plan to get some terracotta. I just wanted to get some dirt and grass here. Look at chicken. Goodbye, chicken. Time to get more grass. Alright, this should be enough for now. I can farm more if I need to in the future. Time to head back now. Oh, look what I found here. Some iron armor and a sign and a crafting table and some food. This is really cute by Connie. I'm arriving at the base again and now it is build time. The thing I want to do here is make a pillar out of stone, then encase it in stone and have some vegetation on top with some grass. It is also gonna have some other materials inside of it, like a gravel stripe or some blackstone or cobbled deep slate. So let's get started. So let's start down here with the pillar. It's gonna come from out of the water, obviously, because it's above the river. Well, this right now is just a rock. It's gonna have to be a little bit bigger. This is where I'm at right now and it's way too small. I'm just noticing that I have to maybe have a different design like this. Maybe I have to go outwards from this and not just have just a singular spike upwards. Alright, we are definitely getting somewhere. This is a little bit sharp, but you know, I have to kind of do it. Because I do not want this to be as huge as you would have it if you have a kind of flat terrain. I don't want to connect it really to this one. I might do connect it over here, but for this one I'm gonna just have it a little bit floating arch over here. All right, I'm up here. This is a very steep mountain here. I might need to change at least this side a little bit, but I can start making the top part now.
I'm thinking about connecting it right a little bit, you know, with this platform here to have, you know, the arch go like this and also maybe somehow cover this area up here. Alright, I think you can kind of see what I want to do right here. I'm just a little bit unsure about this right now. But this is generally gonna be a little bit the structure. You're gonna have the whole arch going above this thing and then having this thing below here being connected with this. This is quite difficult to make because it's such a weird structure. It's not like, you know, just a blob here, for example. It's got like curves and such. This is gonna be a bit difficult. I'm changing the land here a little bit so the rock can go inside of the mountain and I might have a little bit more of a gradient over here. Yeah, this is looking a little bit better here, but this is a bit thin. I might make this a little bit more wide here in those two sides. Yeah, this is quite a little bit better. This is going along nicely. This this is gonna be... Yeah, I like this. This is obviously gonna be covered with grass on top of here and also on top of here. It's not only gonna be stone, but I'm gonna be just mainly starting here with stone. And I've seen I've got a hole here. Alright, this might be a little bit much of the stone here. Oh, I gotta change this hole here. But I think you know what I'm going for. I might need to add a little bit more to this thing, because this is a bit slim for holding all of this up here. Alright, now I've tried making this front part look a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more appealing because it kind of looks like it's, you know, now in surrounding and carving the farm. I might add some blocks here. Yeah, that's definitely an improvement. But you've just seen this side all the time, but this side is still completely open and I'm also missing this one, so these two are the next ones. This all here is a little bit more big than I actually expected it to be. So <laughs> I might need to make this actually quite something bigger. Ohio. Hi. You're muted. Hello. Hi -o. <laughs> oh, everybody at the same time. Nice. 
this might be a big cut, but I think I'm done with the stone for now. I'm going to now build the grass on top. This is what you're gonna see right now. I just put a lot of dirt and grass on here and it looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I just had one layer on top of each thing, so also didn't, you know, put something under here because there's a rock above it. And yeah, it looks quite natural. I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Well, I'm just gonna add a few more things up top. Okay, this has become pretty decent. I've added some bone meal and also, you know, some moss and some azalea trees right here. And this is looking pretty good. I think this should be good enough to cover up the whole farm right here. Yes, I think this is the final product for now, maybe I'll enhance it, but this did the job. It covered up the whole thing and it's looking pretty pretty. That would conclude the video and I really recommend watching the tutorial on screen right now for building natural blocks like this. Goodbye, have a good day.